Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today I want to go over some of the features of OS X Lion, also known as 10.7. Now, it will be released in the summer. Other than that, I do not have a timeline for it, but here is the actual Apple website. I will have a link to this in the more info below. I actually tried to make a post on my website. However, it was taking too long with all of the images, and I couldn't get the sizing correct. So uh, here it is, and up at the top, it says we're taking our best thinking from the iPad and bringing it all to the Mac with OS X Lion available in summer 2011. Here's a preview of some of the top features. So here it is right here. It looks really nice and this is something new that's called Launchpad that I'll be talking about really soon. So obviously it will have the Mac App Store and it will probably be getting updated for OS X Lion as well. Uh, as some of you already know, you can get a ton of free and paid applications on the Mac App Store already, and I'm sure OS X Lion will bring a bunch of new features to the Mac App Store as well. Now, Launchpad is something new. It's something from iOS that is basically incorporated into the iPad and I'm just gonna go ahead and read it really quick so it says Launchpad gives you instant access to your apps iPad style just click the Launchpad icon in your dock your open windows fade away replaced by an elegant full screen display of all the apps on your Mac so these are apps from the Mac App Store it takes just a swipe to see multiple pages of apps and you can arrange them in any way you like by dragging icons to different locations or by grouping apps in folders and when you have downloaded an app from the Mac App Store it will automatically appear in your launch pad and then it says ready to blast off so this is a really nice feature that I think a lot of people will like and this is actually one of the features that I'm actually going to get a Mac for is the fact that it has this really cool launch pad in a integration into it so that is the key thing that I'm looking forward to in OS X Lion and here's just a quick example of a folder so it looks similar to the folders on the iPad and you can also have full screen apps now most of the applications aren't even close to full screen they just take up part of the screen for instance it would just be like this big well now they will all be full screen basically or they can be full screen here are some more examples of different apps that are full screen that you can get from the Mac App Store so another cool thing is called Mission Control I'm gonna go ahead and read it really quick it says Mission Control is a powerful and handy new feature that provides you with a comprehensive look at what's running on your Mac so it's similar to multitasking that is on the iPad iPhone and iPod touch however it has a different look to it it gives you a bird's eye view of everything including dashboard and full screen apps all in one place with a simple swipe your desktop zooms in and out of mission control there you can see your open windows grouped by app thumbnails of your full screen apps and dashboard arranged in a unified view and you can get to anything you see in mission control with just one click so this actually looks really cool and I am super excited for the new mission control so you also get gestures and animations so multi-touch gestures will be present even more in this version of OS X than ever before and it will be really similar to the iPad it says multi-touch gestures make everything you do on iPad easy and intuitive now a richer multi-touch experience is coming to the Mac enjoy more fluid and realistic gesture responses including rubber band scrolling page and image zoom and full screen swiping in OS X Lion and it just auto saves things which is kind of a no die you'd expect it to auto save things and versions is sort of a new different look on the time machine kind of thing that uh, Mac OS X has going on basically it just shows the evolution of different projects that you have running and I'm sure you'll be able to set it up similar to time machine you can also just resume exactly where you left off off. Uh, Mail 5 is just a new version of the Mail that is really similar to the iPad. As you can see there, it looks a lot like the iPad Mail app. So Mail 5 also introduces different type of conversations. As you can see here, it has a conversation layout, which is a new breath of fresh air compared to what we've seen before in the old Mail app. Now AirDrop is pretty interesting. So you can send things by air, and with AirDrop in OS X line, you can send files to anyone around you wirelessly. 
effortlessly. AirDrop doesn't require any setup or any special settings. Just click the AirDrop icon in the Finder sidebar, and your Mac automatically discovers other people nearby you who are using AirDrop. So that is really cool, and you can probably drop a bunch of different things, and once the jailbreak comes out for OS X, you will probably be able to drop over applications to your friends as well. And the last thing of note is the new 128 data encryption that you can use at the disk level. So it's just a new sort of uh, encryption that will protect all of your files. So that is basically it. It just goes on to mention the Lion server as well, but I'm not going to be going into depth on that. So the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is my new channel. It's called Icy Your iPhone, and it is right here. I will have a link to it in the more info, and you guys can come over here and subscribe. I will be making daily videos here, and and it's just me taking videos with my iPhone and also just telling you guys the latest news and asking for your opinions and just doing different things like that. So in this video right here, which is the video that I uploaded about an hour ago, I'm talking about iOS 4.3 and going into depth on that. Somewhat similar to what I did in this video, except instead of OS X Lion, it is iOS 4.3 for iDevices. And I think I did a pretty good job of integrating overlay pictures right there and also at the very end of it you get to see my face too so I will have a link to that video in the more info as well and you guys can go there get all the latest news on the iOS 4.3 features and also see my face so I hope you guys like this video please remember to rate it up and let me know what you think in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel and my IC or iPhone channel if you aren't already this is ICU signing out